Hi there. Okay, today we're talking about just three super easy tips for a healthy holiday. Very, very simple. Everyone can do these three easy tips. Before I go on, I'll tell you quickly, I'm Stacy Portugal. I help women who are over 40 lose the weight, gain results, and I do it primarily through low carb living. So super easy tip number one, bring or serve one healthy dish that can serve as your main course. So what I like to do is I like to go to like the discount stores and go into their seasonal aisle and buy um, some sort of serving dish. Could be a large bowl, could be a platter. And then I like to bring whatever dish I'm going to bring into that large bowl and it also serves as a, uh, a hostess gift for my hostess. So if I were bringing or serving the one thing, the one dish that I think works the best for a healthy holiday is a great salad. I know for my Thanksgiving celebration, one of the dishes I'm bringing is a healthy fall salad. I'll have some sunflower seeds, um, a variety of vegetables. I'll have feta cheese, but I'll put it on the side. Um, and then I will add just a minimal amount of dry cranberry just to make it a little bit sweet and give it that flavor of fall. Um, I'm also bringing for Thanksgiving a low carb, keto friendly cheesecake. And the reason that I'm doing that also is because I know it'll be the one dessert that I will have already tracked and I can eat on plan. So the first step to, uh, the first tip for a healthy holiday is simply to bring or serve a healthy on plan dish. Make sure one of whatever you're bringing can serve as a main course. And I know for my salad, I could add protein. In this case, I know that my sister-in-law will be making turkey as most of us will over Thanksgiving. So I could just simply have her turkey and my salad and that is my Thanksgiving dinner. Okay. The second super easy tip to have a healthy on plan holiday is lessen the carbs. You know, there is so much disagreement and so much confusion in the world of nutrition, but I think the one thing that most everyone, or really everyone if they have a head on their shoulders would agree upon, is that we're really just eating too many carbs, too many processed foods, too many bakery-like desserts. So when you're at your Thanksgiving celebration, kind of look around and say to yourself, okay, where are the carbs? The carbs are your red light foods. So it's those foods you wanna make sure, especially that you're eating in moderation. If there's chips out and you wanna have a handful, go with it, but be very cautious as you're grabbing for the chips or look for a less processed carb in its place, which would be probably a vegetable. So you could still enjoy whatever dips you love, but maybe just go for the carrots or the jicama or the sugar snap peas or the cut up broccoli. That's a much better choice than the processed carbs. So really lowering the carbs benefits everybody and will help you to avoid weight gain over the holidays. So, so far, two of the three tips we've discussed for super easy, staying on plan during the holidays. The first one is bring or serve a healthy dish. Could be a sort of a salad that can serve as your main course. Um, I'm also bringing a low carb, keto friendly dessert. The second uh, suggestion that I have is to just lessen the carbs overall. Anything that you see that is a carbohydrate is a red light food. It's something that you should be paying attention to. So it could be the chips. It could even be the, um, 
yams, you know, the, the sweet potato casserole. It could be the rice, the stuffing. It could be the chips, the candy, the desserts. These are all carb foods. They're high, high, high in carbs, very concentrated. And you should pay attention to those. The ones I would not put a red light on are the vegetables. As long as it's prepared in a simple, clean manner, you can pretty much eat vegetables and enjoy them. Um, and I wouldn't even put a, a cap on it unless it's a high starch vegetables like potatoes, peas, and corn. All right, the third super easy tip for a healthy on-plan holiday is ditch the, don't be a victim to the holiday mentality. So you really have to ditch the holiday mentality. Some people have a preconceived notion that they're, it, they're powerless to, you know, gain a certain amount of weight over the holidays. And this is simply not true. First of all, the average person only gains one pound during the entire holiday season. Secondly, you don't really need to gain any weight. Thanksgiving, guys, is for most of us, it's one meal and it's one day. That's all it is. And I know that you might have things going on as we approach holiday season. I know it's Black Friday or that's a great day to spend with family as you're, you're, a lot of people do take the day off on Black Friday. But the point is, is we're t these particular holiday meals are one day. So you really have to lose that victim mentality that it's inevitable that you're going to gain weight. This is one meal. You push past this one meal and that's going to mean a healthy, on plan, leading to your goal type holiday. So I hope these three super easy, helpful tips were helpful for you to give you the on plan holiday that's going to help you get to goal. Really quick to review them. The first tip was to bring or serve a healthy dish. Second tip is to lessen the carbs, make carbs the red light food. The third tip is to let go of that holiday victim mode where you think that you have to gain weight. Keep in mind, it's only one day, one meal. Just take it one day and one meal at a time and you'll be just fine. Okay, I hope that was helpful for you and let me know what you think. What feels challenging for you as we approach Thanksgiving and what can I help you with? Any challenge whatsoever. Go ahead and write it in the comments. Our community begins in the comments and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.